Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about turning our notifications off. And now what is this going to be used for? Well, if you're a student and you're studying and you need to maintain focus so that you can do well in your exams, you can use this to minimize distraction and maintain that flow state so you can study well. Now, if you're someone who works in an office space, you can turn notifications off if you don't want to disturb others. So there are a few reasons to turn notifications off. I personally recommend always turning off my notifications unless it is for something important like messages and uh, phone calls. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is go into the settings. The quick and easy fix is to go down to do not disturb, which is above screen time, press that and enable it. So what this is going to do is going to silence the calls and notifications that you're going to receive and it's going to optimize your workflow that way by not disturbing you. And there are a bunch of different optimizations that you can use, uh, like always silence or while phone is locked. Now, if you choose to do the do not disturb while the iPhone is locked and not always, if you're on your phone, um, the notifications will still come through. But if the phone is locked, then it won't. And there's a bunch of other customization things that you can do. Also, if you swipe up from the bottom of your screen, you can access this as well. And it's right here in the middle with the moon icon is the do not disturb. So right now it's off and then I can resume the do not disturb by clicking the icon again. So that is the quick and easy fix. You can do that for all notifications. However, another way is to actually go into the notifications setting. And so notifications is right above sound. So we're going to press that. And there isn't a very great way to disable all notifications at once. You do have to go in manually within the notification setting. So let's go down to Snapchat. So Snapchat, turn it on for this demo. Uh, right now, the notifications are on. So we see that there are alerts for lock screen notification banners. We can customize that to whatever you want. If you don't want lock screen notifications, we can get rid of it. And so with the others as well. However, these alerts are not gonna be something that I'm gonna use. So I will delete these notifications and they will not show up anymore. So that's how you do it manually for each app. Again, my recommendation is to use phone notifications and message notifications and nothing else because I find that I get distracted too much if my favorite Twitch streamer has started streaming and I get a notification and then I start going down the rabbit hole of social media and all of that when I should instead be working. So those are my recommendations for either deleting notifications or making them less uh, of a distraction. That is the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.